Hey everyone, this is Justin with Stone Age Ball Pythons. I'm putting this video out today to let you know that I am coming back to YouTube to start creating a little more content. I'm using it as a avenue to get my daughter more involved. She really likes uh, the idea of making YouTube videos, so I thought we could turn this channel into more of like a vlog of what I do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. Just give you uh, some insight into what I do and use this video to update my reptile area. Uh, pretty much update my entire setup. Everything I've done in the last seven years. It's been about seven years since I posted a video and I thought this was the time to do it. So I wanted to kind of take you around my reptile area, my reptile room, um, and show you what I do. Um, this area is kind of like storage shipping area uh, i do my own i do all my own shipping i cut the styrofoam i use polyfill u-line boxes uh and i know it's done right and i know it's a proven way and it's safe and all my animals have arrived safely uh this over here these are my freezers uh this is where i keep my frozen rats on the right and then my food i have elk and and uh, burgers and all kinds of stuff in there but this is my uh sticker swap that i've been doing on instagram uh, if you want to check me on instagram i have uh quite a few posts uh, lots of good content on there and then if you want to do a sticker swap uh, feel free uh, let me know shoot me a message on instagram leave a comment on here just shoot me your address privately and i will get you a sticker sent out. i have a lot um, and also, uh, if you're getting into the ball pythons, make sure you surround yourself with people uh, who are like-minded. Uh, get yourself a group you can bounce ideas off. Uh, shout out to the Wolf Pack. Uh, Jerry Robertson with Snakes Are Cool, he's a great resource for me, he's local. Uh, we talk all the time. Uh, and then also Cue Ball Morphs, he's a good dude. He's uh, done some deals with me and then euphoric reptiles and then all the people in the the wolf pack this over here this is my light tent i guess this is where i take all my pictures the reflection from the styrofoam gives perfect pictures all the time it really captures the best that i can of what the snake looks like i get a lot of comments like oh the snake's so much brighter in person and they, they really are, they're way more vibrant, but this is the best I can do to portray what they look like. Um, and then, so my reptile room, I'll give you the backstory. I bought the house like two and a half years ago. And uh, this used to be just a bench. And I framed it up. I ran water to it, electric. Uh, I made it exactly how I wanted it to be for me. It's, it's small, it's efficient. Uh, eventually I might upgrade to a bigger space in the garage, build a bigger room, maybe put a mini split in. Um, but this works for what I need. So I'll bring you in the reptile room. We got a couple of uh, 28 core racks on this side. Uh, they're not all full. Uh, I think there's three snakes in the far one, some leopard geckos. Uh, the bottom four or five, I haven't put heat tape in yet. Uh, eventually when uh, my whole backs get bigger i'll add heat tape and it'll work and then so this one is all full except for the top one uh 20 20 hold backs and purchases growing out in these uh, i have this uh, pvc one uh full and then these are my hatching racks um i know it's a little dirty um I've cleaned it up the best I can, but I mean, it's just, it's what it is. I take care of all my animals properly, and you'll see that over time as we put these block, uh, vlogs out. Um, but I have a couple of uh, tubs of feeder mice for hatchlings, and then, like I said, these are all my adult racks. So I'm small, but efficient. And then this is the thermostat with electric heat. I have a humidifier and an air purifier, and I also ran a water line, 
and I have this fan that circulates the air to keep an even temperature throughout the room when I close the door. And then if you look here, this is my breeding chart. Um, date that I introduced them. Uh, circled if I see a lock as I'm checking stuff throughout the day. Uh, throughout the day. And then this is uh, one of my banners that I don't use for shows. It's got some smudge marks on it. You can see. But it's perfect. I love it. And then this right here, this is my rat warmer. Uh, this is what I use once the rats are thawed out. I put them in here, um, hooked up to a uh, Herbstat 4. Three of the controllers uh, do my racks and one's empty, so I use it to control the heat on this uh, to warm up the rats to feed. I switched my whole collection over to Frozen Thawed and I try and get hatchlings by their third meal to be switched over to Frozen Thawed. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes you have uh, couple of holdbacks that uh, have to eat mice for a couple more meals but then I try and scent the rats and get everything to eat well I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in um, if you can subscribe leave a comment uh, we'll be putting out I'm, I'm gonna guess maybe bi bi-weekly videos or vlogs on what we're doing if you have any requests uh, what you'd like to see if you have questions just let me know uh, I tell all my customers I'm an open book I've been through a lot I've dealt with a lot I've learned a lot so if you ever have questions I probably can answer it or I can find somebody who knows the answer uh, like I said appreciate you, you guys take care and I'll uh, hopefully see you soon